you know, officer safety is very important and, uh, you know, public safety becomes second to that. So I wouldn't want to, uh, you know. Definitely. Ah! Got him! Got him! <laughs> Thank you for calling the administration office of the Kern County Sheriff's Department. If you know the extension number of the person you are calling, press zero now. If you have any emergency, hang up and dial 911. If you require a deputy to respond to your location for a non-emergency, hang up and dial 661-861-3110. For personnel complaints or employment services, press 1. For crime reports or car impounds, press 2. For arrest records or warrant information, press 3. For live scan fingerprint information, licensing, concealed weapon permit. Sheriff sure, Drive, this is Ashley. Hello, yes, uh, I have a couple questions I'd like to get answered. I don't know if this is the right line. Um, I have sort of a personnel question about conduct mm-hmm. and policy as well as sort of like a, maybe like potential employment opportunities. Um, mm-hmm. Is this the right line, you know, to ask these questions? Yeah. I don't know. Sure. Okay, so uh, first first things first, I guess, uh you know this is this is the Kern County Car- Ca- I'm sorry. This is the Kern County Sheriff's Department, correct? Correct. Okay, so um, you guys uh, recently are engaged with a uh, contract to film the show Cops. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, I, my questions have to do with that specifically. Um, I, are there any kind of employment opportunities regarding that? Are there any kind of uh, opportunities for? people to apply to get involved in this and specifically with the the tv show yeah yeah yes yeah. so like the production company the filming uh maybe going on right along that is participating yeah that kind of so thing. that is not with us i mean we have a contract with them but the show itself they hire within their own means um you would have to find out who the production agency is and okay. who you know hires with them the only way you would be able to be with the the show itself as if you were a current deputy and they they were attached to your your patrol okay all right so maybe outside of the show is there uh some kind of arm that i can look into like maybe doing a ride-along or something similar to what the the Mm -hmm. we do have a ride-along program um and you can i believe there's an application for it on our website at kernsheriff.org um and if not you can always come into our building at headquarters on 1350 Norris and fill out an application for a ride-along. Okay. Um, is there any kind of requirements uh, that, that I need to have to do a ride-along? Um, I'm not. I, there are some some requirements. Let me, let me place you on hold real quick, and I can pull up the application. One second, okay? Okay. Thank you. So we do have, um, it's a ride-along program, uh, like policy, and all it really, it kind of just outlines what you would what you would expect and how you would be expected to behave and what you would need to wear and that sort of thing, um, but there's no specific requirement. Now, there is part of an application, and it just has you list, like, your name, your, your date of birth, your phone number, your address, your occupation, those sort of things, and the reasons for requesting a ride-along. Okay. Um <clears throat> So, um, during the ride along, I guess, um, I'm going to be expected to obviously, you know, follow all policies and procedures as, you know, laws abide and, and as well as officer conduct, that kind of thing. Correct. Um, well, um, while I'm going on these ride alongs, let's say, uh, I see an officer kind of in trouble. Am I allowed to jump in and kind of help him out? I do not believe you are. Well, uh, what happens if I do? That's part of one, I think. So this would be just the application, and once they approved it or reached out for, um, like, a scheduling, then they would go over kind of what they would expect you to do and not to do. Um, but that's not detailed in this application. But, I mean, like, if, if if I were to step over that line, I mean, that is breaking law, right? Yeah. Okay, and I you could be, be faced, like, uh, criminal charges. Acting as a police, or acting as a deputy. 
so it could be construed as, um, I'm sorry, impersonating an officer. You, yeah. Okay. All right. I, I just want to be sure because you know I I um I wouldn't want to be you know overzealous and kind of do the wrong thing. Right. You know, officer safety is very important, and uh, you know, public safety becomes second to that. So I wouldn't want to, uh, you know, definitely get myself in trouble trying to protect an officer. All right. Well, thank you very much. You've been a great help. What was your name again? My name is Ashley. Ashley, uh, badge number. I'm not a sworn deputy, sir. I'm oh, a civilian personnel. Okay. All right. Thank you, Ashley. I appreciate it. Thank you. You have a good night. You thanks. You too. Bye bye.